stomping ground of Willie Nelson and Spoon, to name just two. Our adopted motto is, keep Austin weird. And while Austin is the capital of Texas, we're as proud of our rock and roll as we are our politics. I'm Caleb, W. Austin's insider, and I'm here to show you around Texas's capital and our great city, Austin. By George is one of my favorite places to take guests shopping. Whether it's looking for a pair of sunglasses or something else, this boutique has you covered. Uh, By George is, is one of those stores that carries some of the best brands in the world. How do you describe Austin style? You know, I feel like Austin style is individual, it's funky, um, but it's also um, really tied into what's going on internationally. By George was an obvious choice for my collection, but it's really important to me being in Austin to have a place for my clients, my friends, uh, my fans here in Austin to go see the collection. Austin may be the capital of Texas, but it's also the live music capital of the world. W. Austin is connected to ACL Live at Moody Theater, one of the city's most dynamic music venues and home of the acclaimed Austin City Limits series, the longest running music television show in American history. It started back in 1974 here in Austin. Uh, KLRU, the local PBS station, was looking to do a show on local music there was never really an intention that it was going to become an American institution. It was just a one-show pilot with a then unknown artist, relatively unknown by the name of Willie Nelson, who's gone on to bigger and better things, obviously. But uh, the show caught on. You know, people seemed to like what we were doing down here, and now here we are, 40 seasons later, still going strong. It's just the quality and, and the longevity of the show, I think, is what makes it so iconic. South Austin is known for its colorful and distinctive neon signs. Evan Boyles crafts vintage style designs with a modern twist at his studio and gallery, Neon Jungle. Uh, my name is Evan Boyles. I'm a sign designer and artist, and I don't have a label, I guess, but I have a company called the Neon Jungle. Partly what inspires me about it is the opportunity to change the way it looks. Who gets to say that about their hometown or any town? East Austin is an up-and-coming artist haven, and the Canopy creative community is one of its standouts. A visit to Canopy emphasizes the connectedness between art, culture, and the public. What is the inspiration behind Canopy, and what drew you here? I think because it is a growing art community, and it's a very young community that has a constant influx from UT, you know, new students, also same as young, fresh, new ideas. And that's combined with people who have been here for a really long time. It's a good hybrid of those two communities. Austin is an electric mix of vintage and visionary, country and rock and roll, fashionable and laid back. And I can't wait to welcome y'all here. <laughs>